are back on the climb for top 10 of the random battles ladder. We decayed quite a bit. And I've also just been playing games casually just because it's nice to, you know, play occasionally. Um, but our opponent has a giant threat to our team. Honestly, though, I feel like I can just circle throw it out. Let's just circle throw it out just in case it tries to set up. It did do go right for gunk shot. Uh, unfortunately, missed. So really good start for us. Bad start for my opponent. Uh, the reveal of the Mr. Mime Galler. Now, this thing is a threat, too. Psychic is annoying. I don't want to reveal Lunala just yet. I do have actually some options. Uh, we're going to circle throw this as well. Every bit of chip on take on Mr. Mime is going to matter as well. Uh, just because of the fact that they they are very bulky with a Violite. But if you guys do enjoy the random battles, make sure you let me know. Leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. On my way to 300k, that's my end of the year goal. You can help me get there. If everybody watches this video, so that I can get there. And, you know, leaving a like, you help me out. So, I mean, throw is kind of just doing what its name implies and throwing everything out. That is literally all I do is doing. Uh, we'll bring out Feral Thorn here because if they want to go for the Sleep Powder or anything like that, yep, we're immune. And uh, I'll get up Stealth Rock because if they quiver, my Gyro Ball will just be powered up. So Stealth Rock looking pretty good here. Um, Feral Thorn actually looks pretty decent. It beats three of their Pokemon potentially. So yeah, I like the Rocks first. This is either the Leftovers or Life Orb. Uh, I do have a Scarf Tyrantrum, which if it does uh, hit its attacks, it wins. But I think Aerodactyl is more likely to win, especially with Hazards up. So we'll get up the uh, Stealth Rock right here. And um, yeah, like uh, with Rocks, I feel like Arrow just smashes everything on their team. Toxro comes out, has leftovers, gunk shot, set. Gonna make the Dracovish play. I think gunk shot's gonna leave me like at 3%, so I'm just gonna go for Psychic Fang here and then try and knock him out. A yeah, little bit. No, what I say, 3% basically after poison damage. So I get rid of Toxico, which is really nice. My circle throw looks better and better uh, because of that. They can bring out the Mime if they have Rapid Spin on it, but if they have Rapid Spin, they're not a threat. Mime isn't a threat if it's rapid spin. Just because that means it's not nasty flat three. So, yeah, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Should be able to go Lunala now and just knock him out with Moongeist Beam. That should be free. And then uh, as Melmetal comes out, ooh, I don't know if they're choice bin or not. We'll find out. We do see leftovers, which means they actually can't touch Feral Thorn too much. Only superpower. But it wouldn't do a lot. And all they did was power up my gyro ball basically there. Though they did give me the opportunity to get full paralyzed. So we'll see what happens there. But Lunala looks really good. Still going to get up Stealth Rock. Feral Thorn still beats Lilligan. And um, I have the Shadow Shield on Lunala to help me out versus Amistar if they end up going out into it. So they could technically go for Double Iron Bash. They have a 51% chance to paralyze me. And couple that with the fact that I'm paralyzed. As, excuse me to flinch me, but couple that with the fact that I'm uh, the the fact that I'm paralyzed too could also hurt. But yeah, we get up rocks, perfect, perfect. Make the throw play right here. Gonna see if we can circle throw them out. Should I try and sleep talk here? No, let me go for some or circle. Throw. I can sleep talk in the following turn and get ice punch or anything like that potentially. I'm not that worried. And Aerodactyl looks really good with these guys being weakened. So, I guess I technically could go hard Feral Thorn too. Oh, of course, you wake up immediately. <laughs> Why throw a 2 out of 3 chance to get an attack that was good in this situation? Uh, Petal Dance shouldn't be able to knock me out. Wow, that was a, a, a really... I don't know why they made that play. Uh, okay, then they Dynamax in this turn, so I can't even knock him out, which is funny. It's going to take two. Can't even Gyro Ball that. Uh, trying to think, trying to think. They go for Max Flutterby. And then, cool. Uh, so basically, my opponent has just wasted their Dynamax completely. And I should be able to go Feral here. And tank. Pollen Puff shouldn't do too much. Oof! And I got fully paralyzed too, so that doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna bring out Lunala. I'm gonna have to give them something to go to sleep, right? So it's gonna be you. I think I can go Aerodactyl now. Let's see if they quiver again. 
I would if I were them. Yes. And then I survive their attack and I go for max airstream. That's basically it. Yep. A little bit unlucky. Uh, I would have went Lunala had I gotten a little bit of damage off with uh, Pharaoh on them, but whatever. So the thing is, Melmetal still eats, but I combined up a Lunala and I beat Mime. I beat Amistar. This doesn't matter. You die here. And I just need damage on Melmetal in order to beat it. I'm also faster than plus two Amistar as well. So if they want to try and Shell Smash, I'm good. Uh, just go for max quick again. Really hoping my opponent isn't Thunder Wave on this one though. I'm hoping they're kind of specs. I mean, they'll knock me out regardless here, right? They went for an odd play there. I've, I'm not sure why that happened. But I'll, t I'll definitely take that crit. I'll take it. It lets me hit Melmetal as well with an Earthquake, which is awesome. And that allows... I, that was such a weird fire move there. I have no idea what they were thinking. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, I can't even... I have no idea what they were thinking. We'll just Calm Mind up here. They Shell Smash. Calm Mind up again. They're trying to freeze me. Which makes sense. Going to Roost up once because Hydro's not going to do crap. Yep, exactly, and I'll be in uh, Shadow Shield now. And Moon Guy should be able to knock him out. Anyway, I wasn't sure if it was 100% chance to knock him out there, but we'll take those. All right. So, we win the first one. That was scary. That Lilligan got scary. Only, only Rambats can Lilligan beat Feral Thorn without hitting Power Fire. Only in Rambats. I do like that, that we, we have that uh, other form of uh, Lilligan, Hisuian Lilligan. I really wish this version of and that that form looks crazy. I really wish that this version of Lilligan also had the. Um, I really wish this form of Lilligan also had something like Horus here or something, because obviously it'd be crazy. But that that one just looks. The physical Lilligan is actually insane. Five star, oof. That's how I rate anybody when I order on Uber. Hmm. It's funny, Clayto actually learns nasty plot, but doesn't have access to it in this. Toxic might come out. I'm gonna nasty plot up. Oh my god. When the Zoroark gets them, they expected rocks. When the Zoroark straight up get oh my god, dude. And I keep a focus sash too, and now I'm plus two, so something coming in is gonna take a lot of damage. I can even Dynamax on Toxic. Like I I can Dynamax early to get such a huge advantage. I mean I already have a huge advantage there. Look at that. I can get up rocks as well. Hell yeah. When the Zoroark doesn't look like Zoroark, but he do when the lead Zoroark actually gets it. Lead Zoroark actually seems unfair in Rambats, at least. I feel like I kill you in one hit. We're gonna see. Eternatus. Plus two Dark Pulse is 96 to 114. Naturally. That's crazy. Let's freaking go for it. Like, I don't even have the Dynamax. I can touch. Wait, what? Okay, I, uh... What? Why is my level zero? Oh, I guess my level was 100 in this. My bad, dude. Uh, well, we got the win from that, but I don't know why it wasn't the the actual Rambats. Why was why why was my Zorark not the right level? Also, that damage calc looked insane too, to be fair. But why was my Zorark not the right level? Why is it level zero? What does that mean? Right, I guess you can't use you can't mess with Zorark. <laughs> you can't mess with Zorark. Even in, even the damage calc doesn't know if it's Zorark or not. The illusion is just it's it's a it's a method actor. That's what it is. All right, we'll pause it, guys. We'll, we'll be right back. Oh no 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 no! I like. Oof! Not the licky. A little annoying, but not the end of the world. Honestly, I want to get rid of this thing if I can. I'll make the comfy play. Like a power up or bulk up or whatever. If I get rid of Zerud, I mean, I have a Spectre, right? Like, it looks hella good. So, we're going to make the comfy play right here. I expect them to close combat or bulk up, both of which are fine. I have a nice little defensive core of Avalog and Licky Licky and some and Toxic Bite. So, we have options. Yeah. So, the first thing I want to do is trick them a choice, Max, I think. 
I think that just helps. Like, even if they switch, I feel like that just helps anyway. There's the Power Whip. Gonna U-turn here. They're locked in unless they Dynamax. And Avalug doesn't care. Yeah, Avalug legit doesn't care. We're just gonna recover to get back to Sturdy. Uh, I wouldn't mind them Dynamax. Basically, basically, they can't really do too much to me. They missed there, but I mean, I would have been damn near full anyway. And we're going to go ahead and curse up. Recover once more. Just want to make sure. I want them to sack the Zeru. I really do. They obviously had other plans. Uh, we'll make the Licky Licky play because we can Earthquake this thing. Should be okay versus that. And uh, just keeping that Mon alive, I think, makes a lot of sense. Earthquake here for sure. I don't want to risk them combining up, so. You got a lot of annoying Pokemon there, I'll be honest. T-Spike look really good, though. And I have Taunt. We'll protect up the Leech Seed. Hmm. I'm going to make this play just to get up the T-Spike on, the, on them. Again, just to kind of like wear these things down. I do really feel like my... I'll taunt them here. I do really feel like my... Um... My Spectria looks really good. Let me knock them off first, actually. Taunt. I'll taunt them, that way they only can go for power-ups as well, and then I can double knock off on them too. Because if I'm them, I go for sub. Yeah. So we taunt. And potentially get rid of their item. They could try and make this a root play, I guess. Which would be pretty nasty. If I'm them, I try and make this a root play. I'm going to go for T-Spike. Because if you get knocked off on Zerud, then you're no longer locked in. Ah, oh, they didn't care. I have... I'll go for knockoff here then. They're wild for risking Poltergeist. Okay, we're gonna bring out uh, Zero Aura. I'm gonna still try and win Spectre A, but I think I'm gonna end up Dynamaxing Zero Aura here. This guy's so annoying. I'm going for the Max Flare though. Yeah, because the problem is this monk can kind of just stay in on me. I'm really hoping plus one Life Orb. Max Flare knocks him out. Perfect. Thank you. Again, that Mon is very, very, very annoying. Very annoying for sure. Zerud comes out and will die if I go for my move versus that, so I'm not that worried. Maybe they'll double out into Chandelier to like waste my Dynamax turns. I could see that happening. Like Zerud right into Chandelier. I'm debating do I go for the max electric move just because they are 2340, so they have quite a few points over me. But yeah. What do you guys think? Should I still be uploading random battles alongside? I obviously still want to hit top 10. And I think that's very, very feasible. Um, especially now that I can do it at my own pace. And, and if I want to, I can upload like an hour and a half video. This one's not going to be that long because I'm waiting for my dog because she's getting groomed right now. But yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, if they go Shandy... If they go Shandy, do I predict them to go Zerud, though, is my question. And also, if Chandler comes in and it takes T-Spike, like, does that mean that they're the, cho uh, the Choice Scarf or Leftovers variant? Hmm. We'll find out. I really hope nothing comes in and absorbs the T-Spike, though. I kind of hope that they stay there. Especially because with Toxic Spike up, Wish Protect, Licky Licky, plus Avalug is a really annoying... And Sub Spectre are very annoying for Dynamax Mons to deal with. So I feel like... If a Needle Queen or something crazy doesn't come out, I do feel like that I can win despite them having a Dynamax advantage over me soon. Especially if I get some plays right. Again, I'm assuming Chandler comes out. And they doubled as a Rube. If Chandler does come out, I'm going to go for Max Flare versus it because I'm a demon. Mens came out instead. Okay, we'll go for Max Starfall. Uh, that wasn't really... Uh, I mean, it meant that no T-Spike go up, but I still end up killing that mom, which is what I wanted. 
And also, I beat Mentz with Table. I beat the Mentz with the Table, so I'm fine. Chandler doesn't take Toxic Spike, which means that they're... I mean, obviously, I have Mr. Terrain, but that means that they, based on the way they played, and to bait that in, this could be uh, a Choice Scarf Chandler as well. Or Leftovers. Like I said, it doesn't have to be Heavy Duty Boots. I feel like the way they played it, it might not be. But I will definitely give them leftovers if if it does end up being Scarf. Okay, so they Dynamax. They do let me hit them, though, which is very important. They Max Flare. I should knock me out. Ooh, it actually didn't. I don't see leftovers. They might max guard, if anything, here, right? Oof, do I want to make the play? Do I want to keep you alive? Nah, it's fine. Max guard doesn't matter because I have Spectre Grey to come out. So we'll sub up. They go for the Max Phantasm. Let's assume that they are Choice Scarf. And let's make the Licky Licky play. Or let's scout for that Choice Scarf set. They end up going Bisharp. The way they switched out, I feel like they're not Choice Scarf, so I'm just going to go for Earthquake here. Because I think that Spectre will be able to win. It'll be close. This is going to be Life Orb. I think Spectre can win. I also think Licky Licky can win too. Yeah, so there's that. To be expected. I don't want Table taking the hit. I'll sack Comfy here. Yeah, because I think these two are better versus this. We're going to make him take a lot of Life Orb hits. We'll make him take them all if we have to. That's fine by me. Take every damn Life Orb hit you need to. I just need him to take one more guaranteed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we're bringing out Licky Licky now, which deals with Chandelure. I'm going to pray that these two defensively can deal with everything. And by going Licky Licky, I get a turn of leftovers as well, as I, I always wish pass in front of Salamence. Like, always, always, always wish pass. Duraladon comes out. I don't know which set it's running, but Licky's strong enough it's either salt vest or life or we'll find out but licky's definitely bulky enough man licky licky's for sure bulky enough oof that did a good chunk let's go ahead and protect ourselves and get back yeah licky licky's definitely bulky enough to be able to take this on that was a good that was a very good stealth rock wait do i have heavy duty boots oh no i have leftovers yeah that was a good stealth rock for sure How much does Draco do to me? I think it's in my best interest to actually just click Body Slam instead of going hard into Avalok. Exactly, because that could happen. And then I can try and win the game immediately with my Mon. Them being paralyzed means that Licky can beat it later. So even if they double out into Chandelure here. Licky can for sure beat it. They outrage, perfect. I just kill them. Please don't be calm, my Shandy. Please be the scarf variant that I'm praying you are. I think we go hard, Licky. Yep, because they would calm mine there, exactly. Gonna wish up. I gotta wish.
Uh, if I protect and they don't miss, and they comment up again, I lose. And Fire Blast can miss too, so I'm going to go off them choking. Because if I protect, I don't think I can actually stall them out. Do I go off them choking? Uh, let, me, let me go for protect. Yeah, they didn't combine up. We're going to wish again. Wish up once more. I'm going to go off them choking right here. Perfect. I mean, it wasn't. I guess it wasn't technically a choke because... They can still smash me. Yeah, they did go Fire Blast there. Wish up. Two Fire Blasts, man. Two Fire Blasts. They went for another Combine. They're not going to kill me one. So they got to get the Fire Blast play right versus me. So I get my wish here, which is cool. Oh, they got me, man. Yo. What? I... All right, we sacked you on Shadow Ball. Oh, they're straight up getting me, dude. They're getting me. Holy crap, man. Damn, they're, they're scared of getting... So basically, they have two Fire Blasts left, and I'm trying to waste them. I think I need a double protect. And I think I still can lose to Duraludon, too, so... Damn, they're getting me. Maybe... They'll be close, they'll be close. Wow, I can't you be the damn Assault Vest set. Let's see. There's one fire blast. Let's see. Double protect chance plus the fit chance that they miss fire blast. Okay, well protect will work this time. I literally need a guy to double protect. Come on, Licky. Got him. Okay, I mean, that worked out. <laughs> Excellently. <laughs> so now we, uh, I mean, they could technically flash cannon spam. Licky, Licky, not choice ban versus Duraludon. Life Orb, Draco. Earthquake is 40 to 47. I can actually afford Earthquake twice. And then we simply protect, get outside of crit range of everything, and then we won the game because Licky Licky was the absolute GOAT in this game. Was the absolute GOAT in this game, man. Licky Licky was the absolute GOAT in this game. Woo! Oh my god, Licky Licky, you were an absolute legend in that game. Man, I, I knew Licky Licky was out looking to do it. It even got the it got the, the para on Mens, but they clicked outrage immediately, so I guess it was very similar. This could toxic me. It's whatever. I want to get up rocks. Pokey tilt. Everyone. Everyone who's ever played Rambats. How much does Soul Rock do to, to Chansey? By the way, because that, that damage might actually come into play later. Why does... Oh, I'm Explosion. Rockside does so much. I'm not Explosion on this one, though. Okay. Mm. Make the Garbodor play here. Get up Spike. I think, I think between these guys, I have some decent win cons. Yeah, I think between those guys, I have some decent win cons. Actually, I can afford to Rockslide once. Uh, I don't want to go hard, Garbodor, because this thing has morning sun recovery. I want to see, like, they, it's not guaranteed they go for Toxic here, right? They could just go for Seismic Toss. So if I at least get a little bit of chip, also if I flinch them, I have a, I can three shot them, right? They went zone. 
Flash Cannon does not KO me. And they revealed that they are Scarf Zone. So that chip is going to be nice. Dragonite, the counter comes out. Literally choice ban Dragonite, by the way. And there goes Dragonite. <laughs> I don't know why they went Dragonite. I don't know why they went Dragonite, but I'll take it. Shoot. Malamar comes out. Try and boost itself versus me. Probably wins by doing so, right? I do get a lot of damage off. I, I just hope they're not rest, basically, I think. So I'm going to get a gunk shot off, and then I'll get up a spike. Ooh, that did a lot. Get up a spike. Oh, they are rest, aren't they? I have, I have zero idea if that means it's rest. I have zero idea if that means it's rest. Like, the way they played that... I got no idea, but I'm also absolutely terrified of this Pokemon, so I'm going for Max Airstream. I have no idea. Best case scenario is we both Dynamax and they die. <laughs> Literally best case scenario. All right, they went Magnezone, which is amazing uh, because I will be faster after and I can knock them out in the following turn with an attack. So getting rid of Scarf Zone is cool. I look really good with Dragon Dance on my... Um, I look really, really, really good with Dragon Dance on my Zekrom now too because that Resist is gone and the Malamar that was a Demon is basically gone. Gonna go Adino here and click knock off. Getting rid of their Violite, helping my Blacephalon beat them later. I did just waste Dynamax, but I mean, you, that was a plus five Malamar. And I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. So they have no Violite. We definitely just go with Tornadoes now. If they do reveal rest, I just nasty plot up. Land the freaking hurricane. This is going to die. Or damn near die. I don't know what their last move is. Maybe it's heal bell. But, I mean, Tornadus is a giant threat. And I have hazards up and there's no violate on this. Smart. If they Dynamax, I'm okay with that. I can't grass knot them if they Dynamax, basically, which is why I was like, I'm okay with that. So we just Morning Sun here to keep out of range. And we force them to go for Stone Edges or whatever. They've already used one Stone Edge, so they have seven left. Still Morning Sun anyway. And for Max Strike, uh, I'm still faster. So we'll just get the chip on them. There you go. Shadow Ball should be sure be able to take them out from Blaze at 31% because there's no sand. Lacephalon. Gigalith. No sand. Shadow Ball does 41. Perfect. They've never clicked Toxic with Chansey, by the way, so I have, I have no idea what to think about that. These spike... I have no idea why they made that Dragonite play. But these Spike are working overtime, baby. Good bless. Uh, I think Chansey dies to Shy Shock for sure after Spike because it has no Violite. So it for sure dies to Shy Shock. Shoot, Fire Blast might even KO it. It's the Malamar that's threatening, man. I just got to hit. Blaze plus one. Electivire, Shadow Ball, does 62 Fire Blast kills, so I'm going for Fire Blast here. Hey, and then all I gotta do now is Shadow Ball Malamar. Uh, and obviously Side Shock the Chansey, so we get that. We get this. This is basically a win. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> you are dead. I feel like their team was really decent versus mine, and they kind of threw away. Well, they do have two choice band users. Look at Blaze go, man. Look at Blaze go. 23-24. I, I might just take that. I might just straight up take that. Like I feel like, I don't know how many games we did, but I think I'm going to end it on that. 2300 plus. 
Hope you guys all enjoyed. Shorter episode today, but don't worry. Next time, I'll be doing longer episodes. I'll be doing longer episodes as we keep going. Um, I do actually sometimes just play Rambats now, not even recording, just casually playing because it's fun. It's very fun. But we end on 2324, which is code aim number 32 on the ladder. So not even bad. We're on number 32 on the ladder. Hope you all enjoy. We're actually, wow, we're less than 100 points, way less than 100 points away from top 10. So I hope you all enjoy it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.